Great catching up with my next guest who's going to be headlining UFC Fight Night September 7th against Gilbert Burns. It is Sean Brady back here on the program. Sean, how's it going? I'm good, man. First main event for you, man. Uh, like in, on the UFC, I should say. Uh, yeah. Were you expecting this or, or was this something that kind of was a bit of a surprise? Man, well, so to go back, like obviously after a fight in Kelvin, um, I was supposed to fight Vicente and I needed like three more weeks. Like that's literally, that fight was March 31st. I was asking them if I could fight in early April and um, <laughs> here we are in September, you know? So um, I've been trying to get a fight for, for so long that uh, they finally, the only official fight they called us for were, they called us in like the end of May and they offered us Gilbert for July 20th was the original date. And they said, listen, like, he, we might need like we might need more time so i'm like all right so at first i thought it was july 20th then it was august 10th and then finally louis my manager called me back he was like listen he was like, it's still gilbert still a main event but it's not till september 7th i was like at this point i was like just get me a contract so um yeah but i'm super excited gilbert's a huge name great opponent and a main event for the ufc uh, I can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, and I know last time we spoke, because uh, you we had sort of spoke right when the fight, uh, I think, like didn't materialize with you and Vicente. Yeah. He was a name that you wanted. And, and obviously, he's, yeah. he carries some value as a former title challenger. Yeah. Were there yeah. other any any other names in the mix, or the plan was always to do this fight? Um, I was trying to get the Ian Gary fight when for International Fight Week, because me and him had the same manager, Vayner. And um, I was telling Lloyd the entire time, I'm like, I don't think Ian's, I, I don't think Colby's going to fight kind of how we all knew he wasn't going to fight. And um, it was about eight weeks out. Me and my wife were doing uh, a 10 mile run here in Philly a Sunday morning. And Lloyd hit me up. He was like, Hey, Colby's actually not taking that fight. I was like, all right, like it's perfect time. I was like, let's make it happen. And um, obviously they went with MVP, but before that, like the only fight I had been offered was Gilbert. So um, yeah, it was kind of radio silence on their part. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Gilbert's a huge name, main event. So uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I know that fight was the same night as when Joe fought. Did you watch the Gary MVP fight? If so, what did you think of that performance from him? Yeah, Gary? Joey was doing his media rounds in the back and mm -hmm. we were watching it uh, on the TV. I mean, I, I just, I did an interview recently with Luke Thomas and um, I wasn't too hot. Like Ian won the fight, mm -hmm. but um, it was a lot closer than... He thought it was going to be. He wound up grappling a lot more than he probably thought he was going to. So, um, yeah, I wasn't crazy impressed with either one of them. But um, I know how it is. You go in there, you have one bad night. That doesn't mean that you're a bad fighter or you suck. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that eventually me and Ian definitely run into each other down the road. But I got business to handle September 7th first. And obviously Gilbert Burns, we know a jiu-jitsu guy. But his striking's come a long way. We've seen him get some knockouts as well, too. How are you looking at this stylistically? Because the one thing with Burns that I think people forget, he was looking pretty good against Jack prior to him getting finished, right? Yeah, um, that was that fight. Was I've watched that fight a bunch of times, obviously, back now. Um, it was close. He had some good control in there. Jack was definitely doing a little bit better on the feet. But Gilbert had his moments. Big overhand, big elbow he hit him with, broke his arm with the body kick. So Gilbert's super dangerous on the feet. Um, I think it's going to be, we're definitely going to grapple. We're definitely going to strike. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of people sleep on my striking. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people when we get in there. And I think we match up well against each other. And um, yeah, I just think I'm going to have the better night. Uh, anything different for this camp? Uh, obviously, at, at one of the best in the world. Um, take me through camp. We still have some time, obviously, but uh, how, how's that? Yeah, looking? I mean, we officially just eight weeks was just a week ago. So this Saturday, seven weeks. But um, I've known about the fight for a while. I've been training for it for a while. So, uh, yeah, I have some guys probably coming in within like the next few weeks. But we have such a good team here. I got great guys. My main guy I'm using for him right now, his name's Itso. He's a, a Georgian guy. He's 5 and 0. Oh. And he's strong as a bull, knockout power. He actually went, he fought on PFL and he beat um, Lucas Barboza, Hulk. Mm. And uh, yeah, so he's got some good wins. We're trying to get him a big fight soon. But um, yeah, just everything. Uh, same, same camp, Philly. I'll bring some guys in to help me here and there. But um, hey, it hasn't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's yeah. where I'm at. Uh, any guys you know that are going to, that are confirmed to come train with you? Or are you still working that out? Still working it out. But we got, we got, there, it'll be, it'll be some good guys. I was going to say, I just spoke to Neil Magny today. I know he's trained with you in the past, but he obviously has his fight com coming up too. So I don't know if that would yeah, work out. Neil, yeah, Neil, Neil is a comp <laughs> there was That's true. Yeah, yeah, no, no, uh, yeah, no real comparison. Gilbert yeah. Burns yeah. and Neil Magny, but I like Neil. Neil's the man. I hope he hope he's got something coming up soon. This this whole division kind of 
kind of needs to, uh, to get me even. Yeah, I agree. Um, so just to go over the training partners, probably Jeremiah Wells, Joe, um, you know, your usual guys that, that are kind of in there. Anyone I'm missing? I'm just trying to think of like the main mainstay guys at your gym. So I have my two main guys recently have been Ito mm -hmm. and Ito. I don't even know how to say Bob. His mm -hmm. last name so hard. We just call him Ito. Georgian guy. And then we have this Ukrainian kid, um, Igor. He's been one of my main training partners. He's five and oh, too. So uh we have a lot of Russian guys coming in now, so it's been really good. We have uh, Nurse Oton is back in town, nice. so um, yeah, we have we have so many guys now at our gym. It's it's kind of crazy to even I, I forget about some so many guys all the time, but yeah, it's great. Pat's got a fight coming up, Sabatini. So um, yeah, it's 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 going good. So Pat isn't spending too much time in the lake fishing. I figured this time he would be good for. Nah, it. nah, he gets he gets he get he has his hobbies, but even me, like I was I was just messing around wrenching on my dirt bike unfortunately i won't be riding until after the fight but uh yeah we gotta keep we gotta have some some people fish other people do other stuff but my hobbies are a little bit more dangerous so they gotta wait until after the fight how long have you dirt bike for i grew up riding oh i, I didn't know that I, cool yeah yeah i grew up riding and then recently um me and joey actually went and bought brand new bikes so i've only got to ride a few times because i was getting ready for camp and Last thing I'm doing is getting hurt riding a dirt bike before I start training camp for a main event. So, um, but yeah, I bought a brand new two-stroke dirt bike, YZ250. So after after the fight, I'll be uh, I'll be out riding. How difficult has it been? Because this is something we've talked about. Obviously, you've just had some bad luck with injuries and, and things falling yeah. through and stuff. Like, how have you dealt with that? Because thankfully, you're coming off the win over Kelvin. But I know when you lost yeah. the ball, like you couldn't avenge that because it just like it was hard getting back in the cage. Yeah, yeah, and that's always been um, something that's kind of been been floating around me you know it's hard to i'll have a big win and then something will pop up an injury or i'll get i've had two staff infections pull me out of fights so yeah it, it sucks but um i'm in a good spot mentally physically and yeah it, it is what it is i can't i can't control that it's outside of my control of those things so um i just focus on the things that i can control and that's going to be staying as healthy as possible for the next seven weeks and then i want to get right back in i like i want to fight three times this year that's definitely not going to happen, but I think I can definitely get in at least two. I want to fight September and I want to fight December. And then, um, yeah, I just want to stay healthy. And, but yeah, it's kind of like, I've had some things too, but I've been trying to fight since April, yeah. literally April. I've been trying to get a fight and, um, it's kind of like the whole, no one besides me and Gilbert, no one else has even matched up to fight inside the, the top 15 besides Bilal and Luke. I mean, and Bilal and um, Leon. So the whole division's kind of like jammed up. Luke's fighting Nick Diaz, but besides that, it's kind of no one's no one's fighting. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, your corner will that remain the same for this fight? Have you figured that out yet? Joey, uh, I said Joey. Uh, I'll have John, Jonathan, and then I'll have Dean Thomas in my corner. And oh, cool. Then I get. A yeah, yeah, Dean was in my corner in my last fight. So, That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to. Remember so that. I get he's been helping us out. He's been helping a lot of the Phillies guys out. So he's coming out in the next week or so to to help us for camp. And then um, I get a fourth. I'm not sure who my fourth is going to be yet, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I get to choose a fourth. So I'm not sure who it is, but um, I'll figure it out soon. How's this fight playing out on September seventh? Uh, smaller cage, right? Being at the apex. Me just getting my hand raised. That's all that matters. Um, obviously a finish will be amazing, but a win over Gilbert. If you look at the last two people who beat Gilbert, Bilal and, and um, JDM, they're both right. That Bilal is fighting for the belt. And then Jack was supposed to be fighting Shavkat for the number one contender. So if you go and you beat Gilbert, you're right there on line. So, um, all I plan on doing is getting my hand raised. The timing of this fight's interesting because uh, I know I know it's in September and, you know, obviously like there's a lot of stuff going on in the division. And I know a lot of people feel like, you know, with JDM injured right now, that maybe Shabcat's the next guy in line. Like, do you feel like in some ways people have kind of forgotten about you because of that Bilal fight? Because I feel like if you get a win here, you got a pretty strong case here for being in title contention just with your record. Yeah, yeah I mean, I feel like I'm right there with a big win over Gilbert, obviously. Um, not saying I'm going to be fighting for the belt next, but... Mm -hmm. um. I beat, I beat Gilbert and then one or two more, I'm right there and I'll be more than willing to fight a Shavkat, a JDM, um, who are, there's Usman up there. So I'm after, after Gilbert, it's definitely top five. So I feel like I beat one of those guys and, uh, I'm right there. Like you said, with my record, I'd be 17 and one at that point, 18 and one. So yeah, I'm right there. And I don't know what's going on with Jack. Uh, unfortunately he's got that, um, yeah, that infection that kind of fucked him up. It was supposed to be him and Shavkat for the number one contender. 
I know they were talking about maybe Ian and Shavkat, but who knows what, what who knows what's going to happen in this division. But after September seventh, uh, I'm down for whatever. Okay. Um, do you think Colby Covington will ever fight again? Because uh, right now we don't know what's going on. There's no timetable. I truly forgot about him. Like I like I literally was just naming all those people and I forgot. I knew I was missing somebody in the top five. I don't know what he's doing. Like I know him and Ian were 100 percent supposed to happen. Um, I'm hearing he might fight in October, but I feel like him, like there's certain guys in the division that they should just go like have fights every once in a while that they want and um, let the rest of the division move on. But um, I would love to fight Colby. So after Gilbert, after Gilbert, Colby would be great. Okay. Do you think Conor McGregor fights again? I do. I think that happens. Okay. Because, yeah, it's interesting to see, like, what's going on. Uh, you know, obviously, he had the bare knuckle press conference that he showed up for. I know he obviously has a part owner of that, but he hasn't done any UFC press in a while. I thought that was interesting, right? Yeah, I see. I, I, I didn't see the interview yet, but I seen that he, he was just doing one. And then I know he said he talked to Dana. He said it was good good to go for 2024, but then Dana saying there's no update. So, um I feel bad for Chandler that he's been in limbo this entire time. And I, I know people are giving him shit. Like, I think he should definitely give it the rest of the year. He already waited this long. What's another six months or whatever it is. So mm-hmm. give it the, give it the next five to six months. If it's not scheduled by the end of 2024, then I would move on. If I was him, he's such an exciting fighter. And, uh, we all want to see, I'm a, at the end of the day, I'm a fan of the sport. So I want to see him get back in there and just compete. Well, see, I look at the Chandler thing a little bit different. I want to get your take on this. So my thing on Chandler is, and this is why I think people make too much of a big deal of Connor, is like Chandler realistically could have retired after his last fight. Like he's had his title shot at, in the UFC. I think a lot of fans forget he had a pretty accomplished career in Bellator. He made a lot of yeah. money. He was like the yeah. face of the promotion. So he comes over to the UFC, he loses his title shot. It's not like we're getting a guy who's like late 20s. He's late 30s yeah. at this point, right? So to me, it's like Connor yeah. or Bust. Like he could have just retired and it's no big deal. Yeah. To me, it's like he wants that one fight left. Like I, I see all these fans acting like Chandler's going to try and build himself back up. I just don't see that happening. Like I just no, think it's I, too I, tough for him too. I, I hear you. That that makes complete sense. But I just want to see him fight. And like I'm not saying he has to fight a number one contender, but I know he had, he definitely has more in the tank and he's still in for the sure. fight. For sure, yeah. So. So yeah, I'm 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 on the same boat as you. Do I see Chandler ever winning a belt at 155? No, I don't. Um, he's going to be in fun fights, a McGregor fight, a um. There's a million other people he could be fighting. He can bounce bounce from 55 to 70. He I know he walks around super heavy. He's a big dude. So um, but yeah, it's definitely smart for him to to wait around for the counter fight. You know, even like people talk about the pay and stuff like that. Even if he's not getting the actual pay from the UFC. The endorsements that come out of fighting Connor, all the things that come out of, especially if he beats Connor, that will come later on. It's worth it, 100. percent I agree, and you're always uh, worth it when it comes to an interview, Sean. I appreciate it. Uh, good, good, uh, good, good talk here, and uh, looking forward to the main event, September seventh. Yeah. Uh, if there's anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, and your YouTube channel, the uh, Brady Bags Picks. Uh, by all means, plug that. Follow me on Sean Brady MMA, all social media, and then the Brady Bag Show on um, YouTube. Yeah, it's me and Joey Piper and a couple other guys breaking down fights, just just talking shit. So I appreciate everyone who uh, supports me. 